people who have jobs they genuinely love and enjoy, what do you do? I'm a private chef on a super yacht. I got this job because I used to work in Michelin star restaurants in London. I was tired of working so hard and then seeing so much of my salary get wasted on rent and cost of living in London. I figured out that you get to keep 100% of your salary if you live on the yacht. A bonus right now is that we're moored up on an island that has no cases of coronavirus at all. The pay is way more than what you would get as head chef in a restaurant as well. The crew I work with are all great and I get to cook with the best ingredients with almost an unlimited budget. I couldn't be happier. That sounds like an awesome job if you're single. I want this job. Archaeologist. I'm back in school right now to get a master so I can hopefully lead my own digs one day but even shovel bum jobs are amazingly rewarding. Sure, the days are long and you're out in the hot sun, but when you find something old and cool you really feel like a treasure hunter. Firefighter slash paramedic, started as a 911 dispatcher when I was in my early 20s and going to college. Decided I wanted a more active role in emergency responses so I became an EMTB, emergency medical technician, in my mid-20s. Worked as a part-time emergency medical technician and full-time dispatcher while I went to school to become a paramedic. During my paramedic ride time with a nearby fire department I impressed them enough where they strongly encouraged me to apply there to work as a firefighter and a medic. Finished up my medic program, got my certifications, got hired by the fire department, and then they sent me to the fire academy. Now here I am, full-time firefighter slash paramedic and part-time 911 dispatcher, because I also still enjoy that. Wow, you are badass. In general I like my life as a computer scientist, but now I am a bit envious of your life and right now daydreaming about what it would be like to be a firefighter. I build and work on race cars. It's the coolest job in the world to me. I work for a team and do stuff on the side as well. I helped on race teams for years just for fun, and as I learned more and got better at it it slowly morphed into a pain deal. Which team do you work for? We race their stuff across the southeast. I'm sure you have not heard of us, lol. I deliver grocery shopping to people across a large area. It's nice because I get to talk to people, see different lives, houses, scenery. I get to listen to rock music whilst driving around in my van. The people I work with are amazing and some of the managers are nice. I feel valued there, more than I've ever felt at any other job I've done. I work a standard office job but I love it and wouldn't want anything else just because of the people I work with. We're all friends and work doesn't feel like work. A friend of my brother brought me in. I work for a company with 30 employees and everyone is friends. We have a tabletop shuffleboard and air hockey next to a full bar in the office. We regularly take breaks to play games and relax which has had huge benefits for my mentality at work. Sounds fun, what job is it? What do you reckon fosters the fun, friendly environment? I'm a software engineer. A lot of it is everyone in the office has just let their guard down. Even with the company owner I can just be myself without worrying about repercussions. Sometimes it's not what you do, it's about who you did it with. Same. I barely do any work. I make about 50k a year and work maybe 2 hours a day at most. It's basically a no-show job. It's data entry a monkey could do. If I wasn't so depressed maybe I would try harder in life. Timesetter here liked books so I got a job in publishing after graduating. Turns out I was made for this. It's the perfect balance of logic and art, and I basically get to read for a living. Would you mind elaborating on your day-to-day -day responsibilities and duties? I feel like I would love this job or my perception of it. Thanks. Sure. The company I work for does the design and setting of manuscripts for some pretty big publishers across all genres, except children's, that's usually done by our in tandem with the illustrator. So he take the edited text file and set it using Adobe InDesign or Quark, 
applying typefaces, sorting justification and hyphenation, using grep, a kind of programming I guess. We will also do some illustrations, like if there are ornaments, and some image formatting if there are plate sections or integrated images. Then there are round of corrections from the editor and proofreader. It's the kind of thing where it's easy to do an okay job at, but actually really hard to do an amazing job at. Work in IT for public schools. It's great cause there is no expectation of making a profit. Just making the best environment for students and teachers. I was an IT tech at a school. It was a great first job, you get to deal with everything due to being understaffed and underfunded. On the other hand, it's shit because you're understaffed and underfunded. Children can be awful too. I'm the chairperson of a culinary school. I love my work. No day is ever the same. We see students go from not knowing how to pick up a knife to real skills within a couple of years, graduates get jobs quickly and go on to do all kinds of things. I started apprenticing as a cook in 1998, completed the apprenticeship in 2002, went to university to study history, graduated PhD in food history in 2015, was a professor at a culinary school and am now the chairperson. Hell yeah! I was unemployed and I was given a scholarship to a culinary school even though I had no cooking skills whatsoever. Because of that school giving me a chance, I learned a trade, met my husband, traveled around and worked in ski resorts etc., became independent and built a life. Culinary school is cool. I work as a freelance musician, it's badly paid but I couldn't imagine doing anything else. And it took about 12 years of instrumental training to get to where I could make a living of it. Not even one lawyer. Huh, it seems I made a mistake after all. I'm a civil lit lawyer in a firm. I hate myself. No benefits, no paid time off, no health insurance. We made a mistake, my friend. I'm a lawyer. I love my job. I'm not in a typical firm. I work for the government doing commercial law. It's great. It's infinitely varied and interesting. I learn something new every day. And working for the government means that you definitely make a difference in what you do. The hours are fine and the pay is decent if not amazing. I can work easily from home. I like my colleagues and the work is, mostly, not very stressful. People appreciate my work. I get to speak to all sorts of people. There's nothing better, in my opinion, than having someone come to you with a problem that you can try to solve. I love it. I am constantly happy to go to work and often go home happy as well. Lawyer here too. I do tax law and love it as well. Helping people and solving tightly wound problems is my jam. I manage a fitness equipment store, and I love it. I love dealing with customers and helping them find the perfect thing for their needs. I love being a good boss to my employees, and my bosses are also fantastic. I actually miss work on my days off. Accountant. Definitely not what people think of when they think enjoyable job, but stable, predictable, and lucrative. If it works with your aptitudes, it's a great job that pays well that you can leave at the door each day. Accountant. Definitely not what people think of when they think enjoyable job, but stable, predictable, and lucrative. If it works with your aptitudes, it's a great job that pays well that you can leave it after finishing work. I was a union carpenter for 33 years before retirement. I wanted a job outside and walked onto a job site and asked for a job. I used to think that getting a job with as high a salary as possible was the goal in life. I even persuade this for many years. Now I'm sat on the uppermost cargo deck of a Roro vessel in the north of Europe. I can barely type because my fingers are freezing and covered in dust and grime. I'm tired. My arms and back are sore from just lashing trailers and I have many hours of work to go. I couldn't be happier. I'm no longer at this job because I needed higher pay. But the only job I've ever had where I was genuinely happy was when I worked on a farm. Mostly in the super cute country store that they had, but you also had to do all the packaging of the things they baked in their kitchen, you had to go pick up meat from the butcher, you had to learn everything you could about plants, but it was never once a stressful job. 
I loved going into work every day. I truly and genuinely never had a single complaint and it makes me sad every day that the pay was too low to stay. I genuinely would have worked there until I was 80 years old if I could have. I'm a software developer and love my job. To be fair, I've never had a job that I didn't love, even when I stacked shelves in a fruit shop. While I think I'm really lucky to have found the field and be fairly good at it, I think loving your job and being grateful for it comes down to mindset and the people you work with slash for. If you hate your job, think about the things that you love about it, the parts of it that you're really good at, reflect on how you've grown in the position and be thankful that you're employed. But if you still hate it, work at trying to better your situation. Do you love your job? Leave a comment and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more same videos.